guys Domo here and today I'm bringing you guys my Severog solo lane god build now um, let's look at the gems we have auto health potion fast travel life steal healing towers mana reactor and damage return now for the cards we have cold of the week exoskeleton flame of zet green spring growth totem vile stepper wound seeker numbing rogue trapper unbroken spirit one of the tribe and their period blade now early game i like to start off with a healing towers and put an appointment to exoskeleton so I, I can sustain in my lane longer if the enemy wants to keep hitting me every once in a while uh, then i like to back and get cold of the week or if it's like i'm fed and i can go back i can get my growth totem or green spring um i like to build towards viral stepper because most likely i'm gonna take out my off lane uh tower first before the enemy can take out mine and then that'll allow me to push my lane up and then start uh, making gank attempts into other lanes um, if the enemy has like a chimera or somebody I like to uh, run this card wound seeker because it applies blight and blight reduces the healing um, the enemies will receive so you know like a chimera or a rampage won't be able to heal as much if you're hitting them um, numbing rogue enemy units have their attack speed slowed by 20% I like this because you know it slows their attack speed and Hang on. Yeah. And you know, you get 300 health and 36 basic armor. Um, Trapper, again, a really, really good card in the growth in the growth affinity. Um, it allows you to root enemies that you hit um, 10 times and then root them. Plus, you get 15 power and 32 attack speed. Really good for uh, confirming kills and stuff. Uh, Unbroken Spirit is a really good card for if your enemy team has a lot of CC. You know, you can heal up that damage that you're taking it, it helps out a lot you might some people might not think it does but it helps out a lot uh one of the tribe also a really good card because Severog is a frontline tank and you want to be and you're most likely going to always be with at least one or two team members when you go into a fight so having this card on is really good because you get 30 uh 22 power 420 max health and 15 power for each nearby ally hero now the period blade this is the card that I keep on at the end of the game. So it'll even be Growth Totem, the Pyrrhic Blade, one of the tribe, Growth Totem, the Pyrrhic Blade, Trapper, or Growth Totem, the Pyrrhic Blade, Numbing Rogue, or Wound Seeker. But the Pyrrhic Blade and Growth Totem are always going to be in my end game deck because I like having a 12 power, 20 attack speed, and 240 max health. And it has an active of 150% lifesteal for 3 seconds plus you have a 10% passive plus you have another 10% passive from your gym so that's 170% lifesteal for 3 seconds so like you're going to be back at full health in the snap of a finger and um, I really like it it helps out a lot especially with sustaining in lane and in team fights but yeah that's my build and if you guys enjoyed it be sure to give the video a thumbs up and um, leave a comment down below if you have any other heroes you want me to make a video on but yeah, until then, I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Peace.
die